Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between thick woods, there lived a sweet little girl named Red Riding Hood. She was adored by everyone for her kind heart and vibrant red hood that she wore everywhere. One day, her mother called her and handed her a basket filled with goodies, instructing her to visit her sick grandmother who lived on the other side of the forest. Be careful, little Red, her mother cautioned. Stay on the path and don't talk to strangers. With a nod and a promise, Little Red Riding Hood skipped into the woods, her red hood dancing in the sunlight filtering through the leaves. The forest, usually filled with cheerful chirping birds and rustling leaves, seemed eerily quiet that day. Unbeknownst to Little Red, a sly wolf had been watching her from the shadows. As she strolled along the path, the wolf approached her cautiously. Good day, Little Red Riding Hood, he greeted with a sly grin. Hello, Mr. Wolf, she replied cheerfully. I'm on my way to Grandma's house with this basket of goodies. She's not feeling well. The wolf's eyes gleamed with mischief. What a thoughtful granddaughter you are. But tell me, where does your grandmother live? Little Red, unaware of the danger, innocently shared her grandmother's address. The cunning wolf, knowing a shortcut, dashed ahead and arrived at Grandma's cottage long before Little Red. Upon reaching her grandmother's cozy home, Little Red was surprised to find the door ajar. She entered cautiously and saw Grandma lying in bed, looking frail. Grandma, what big eyes you have! she exclaimed. All the better to see you, my dear, replied the wolf disguised as Grandma, attempting to mimic the old woman's voice. The little red, sensing something amiss, scrutinized Grandma's features. And Grandma, what big ears you have! All the better to hear you, my dear, the wolf retorted, growing impatient. Finally, little red noticed the wolf's sharp teeth. And Grandma, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, the wolf snarled, revealing his true identity. With a sudden leap, he lunged toward Little Red. Just in the nick of time, a woodsman passing by heard the commotion and burst into the cottage. With his axe, he chased the wolf away, saving Little Red Riding Hood from harm. The wolf disappeared into the depths of the forest vowing revenge. Little Red and her grandmother were grateful for the woodsman's timely intervention. From that day forward, she heeded her mother's advice, never straying from the path and being wary of strangers. The once silent forest returned to its lively state, and Little Red Riding Hood continued to spread kindness her red hood a symbol of courage and resilience in the face of danger. And so, the story of Little Red Riding Hood became